You know, I couldn't help but notice the beautiful scenery behind Eric. It's been a gorgeous, gorgeous mm -hmm. day across Western Washington as we look live at the Seattle waterfront. So, Adam, how long is this sunshine going to stick around? Well, we see tomorrow there's another chance of sunshine. It's going to be somewhat different, though. We have high, thin clouds arriving, which is going to filter the sunshine, which is uh, kind of what we're seeing right now in shoreline as we take a live look there. Uh, definitely not quite as sunny as earlier into the day. Clouds will uh, be in and out as we head into the next couple of hours. Tonight, we actually see those disappear, and that's going to lead with the, uh, lead to a very cold overnight ahead. But the farther west you go out over the Olympic Peninsula, we've been seeing really more scenes like this completely completely clear skies and a beautiful look out across the Olympics and it looks like it is going to be a cold night ahead there and even out closer to the coast here La Push, you can see some of the waves very small not seeing anything too choppy but the winds have been coming more offshore as opposed to onshore so we have been noticing some breezy conditions it's just coming more out of the north and the northeast right now in Seattle we're at 15 miles per hour that's making that 45 degree temperature feel even chillier thankfully we got the sunshine to head into our evening on to other spots. You can see a lot of 40s, only 150 today. That's in Hoquiam at 50 degrees. That strong northerly wind has kept temperatures down just ever so slightly here into the day. Now we are going to notice as we go into the evening, still more of those clouds up here around the Olympics and into the foothills, or sorry, the Cascades and the foothills. So that's going to be sinking southward, and you can see still some activity up here around Snoqualmie Pass. Even earlier this afternoon, we had a few patchy areas of, yeah, that grapple come through. That quickly got out of here. High pressure still going to be more overhead over the next day or so, but it does give way to low pressure as we go into tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow night with more of the clouds coming in tomorrow night and then definitely seeing a lot more of them by Friday. Tonight, clear skies, cold temperatures really settling in. Make sure you have something warm to put on if you're going to be out tomorrow morning. You're going to be a cold start. We see some of the clouds in place into the early morning hours, but no moisture anywhere near western Washington. We go into the afternoon hours. We'll see more of those high thin clouds move overhead, and that's going to filter the sunshine just ever so more. Tomorrow night, cloudier skies developing and into Friday, thicker clouds around, especially the farther north you go here, closer to the Canadian border where we could see a few of those light showers beginning to develop southward. It'll be just more of a cloudy afternoon with more of the rain coming in as we go on into Friday night and possibly it looks like more so into Saturday for tonight's lows. Check it out how cool they're how cold they get. They drop down into the lower 30s in Seattle and in Bremerton. We're talking about freezing territory again in Shelton, staying a little warmer around Hoquiam down to 38 degrees. Chehalis bottoming out around 32 and then we'll head into the day tomorrow. Top off at 48 degrees. 50s are ahead for Friday. Saturday too. It looks like we'll see 50s, but that's when we expect to see the increasing chances of rain, which will last through Sunday, Monday, next Tuesday. And yeah, more to come next Tuesday and Wednesday.